Karasuma saves the day with Koro Sensei, and everything is good. The Reaper was a fraud near the end. His aura continued to decrease as his backstory was all just fraudulent. And, you know, <laughs> there was a point where he felt so much like fear that he started like shrieking. And I'm like, man, this ain't the Reaper that I knew. Even like, it was pretty crazy that like, he had skinned off his face, though, too. I don't know, be super, super edgy. But he was just like a rich kid who saw like a super cool assassin kill us. That was like, whoa, so cool. Speaking about that super uh, cool assassin guy, I think we'll see him pretty soon, right? Near the end of the episode, there was like this new uh, order that Karasuma got. Rather than an independent contractor assassin, they're going to do this new coalition project, right? It's, it's looking like we're entering a new arc and teams of OP assassins are going to show up. Let's begin today's reaction. Future planning. <laughs> Four months left. I mean, I'm surprised that most kids are actually dreaming about a future when they realize that the world could just, you know, blow up by March. I'd be probably just like traveling the world doing crossing off bucket list shit and just drop out of school. Looks a bit different today. Hairstyle's different. The outfit is less revealing. Hmm, interesting. Kazuma is shocked. Oh, well, Kazuma happy? That's a crazy thing to say. That's a crazy thing to say to your students. So what? So you do want to see more skin? Maybe? Or Kazuma is going to say no. It's actually better because now it leaves it for the imagination. True Coomers can appreciate this. Straight up. Like, I, I think that's a thing that you don't realize as a kid. You're like, Booba. Booba, I want to see Booba. But you actually see it and you're like, huh. The allure of it is gone. It's all about this, like, mystique around, like, the booba. And as a kid, you just see a big pair of titties in, like, a swimsuit, and you're like, whoa. But then when you actually see the nipples, it's like... You realize that the goal was never to see it. It's all about the chase. This, like, journey of, like, knowing that something good exists at the end of the tunnel, you know? Mm. <laughs> Girls high school. Desired school. Come on. Girls school. Desired career nurse. Desired career maid. This fanboy activity. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Thailand is pretty... I, I, I think that Thailand is definitely... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What the fuck is going on? VLC is popping up. Thailand, huh? Specifically Thailand of all things to go. That's where you want to go with Nagisa? Maybe we're going to do a little bit of... I don't know what we're going to do there. Yeah. Oh, he's looking your hand. Mm. Go to Thailand, bro. Be a lady boy. Mom! Mom. The shitty mom. Remember, dad is kind of like okay, but the mom is hinted to be pretty shitty. So I'm going to real... I'm going to assume that like the mom is the reason why Nagisa has like no self-love and was able to just sacrifice himself because like no one really looked at him right Oka. now i don't trust this chalkboard anymore a bureaucrat? you want to be a politician bro's gonna be a good politician from the shadow the imminence in shadow that's what he wants to be tell us like what's he gonna be yeah? Yeah, honestly? Terasaka as the face and, you know, karma pulling the strings from behind the scene? That would make for a very powerful campaign. It would be Trump-esque, right? I'm not saying Terasaka is Trump, but having someone that speaks from the heart, that can just say shit that no normal person can say, it's compelling. <laughs> Chuny. He's actually very chuny. <laughs> Bureaucrat. Nobody is this office worker salary, man. Yeah, and she speaks like multiple languages, right? Okay. <laughs> Wait. So her defect is that she doesn't have one. She is so good. But she's like, I want to be a normie. So she tanked the grades and ended up in N class. Okay. 
play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yeah, what did you think was gonna fucking happen? You disappointed your parents are fucking crying. Oh no, my daughter's a fucking failure. How nice. I guess I still don't know. And M. <laughs> she just recently bought it. No. Assassin technique ain't coming. She won't even know Nagisa's approaching from behind, bro. What the fuck? The presence, bro! She didn't even know. A professional assassin didn't even detect Nagisa doing that. <laughs> Nagisa should just be an assassin. I, I, Nagisa is, I think, destined to be an assassin. Now, is that a good profession? Probably not, right? It's probably not going to be stable, very dangerous. I don't know, but at this rate... Nagisa could just basically kind of be like a bitch sensei where he goes around cross-dressing and uses his like androgynous looks to seduce people and get away and assassinate the target. Only fans. Only fans. True. True. Probably. Is that what you want to do though? No, you need to decipher your own path. You can't just tell you what to do. Do you even want to do this? But... There it is. Desperation. Like he needs to choose something. Yeah, he has no value of himself, right? He's willing to throw himself away for everyone else. There's gotta be a reason because of what mom did to him. Something in his childhood flashback will explain why he does this. Alright. These kids are gaming. <laughs> Beach quest. What was that supposed to be? Why would they randomly show a scene of two kids having fun while Nagisa's walking home? To show that he never had a chance to live like this when he was a kid? That he had no friends growing up? There's no way this is random. <laughs> Oh god, here comes the mom. Uh oh. We're gonna talk about a report card? Okay, mom. You don't understand. We nearly crippled an old man who runs basically an orphanage, not really, out of his own loss. We intentionally tanked the midterm because Sensei said we couldn't study for it. Blame our teacher, okay? I don't even want to go to the main campus. 60 played three years ago. What the fuck? She's so obsessed with this. I don't think this is the assassin that we saw that inspired Reaper last episode, right? All I saw was like the shortish, bluish hair, but I don't think this is the same person, unless. Generous donation in hand. The school. <laughs> we bribing? We, we, we bribing the school for fucking. <laughs> Please give us back at the with. I, so the principal accepted bribes? Huh, I guess everyone has a price? <laughs> Yo, middle school can't be this serious. Boo. What's that mom aura? Uh oh, she's doing the thing. And th they mentioned that too, right? When we were eating sushi with dad, when like dad's not around, like mom is like in like a good mood, everything is kind of fine. What is this dark mood? Uh oh. What's she gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, kill her. Oh yeah, kill her. She's a fucking monster. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yeah, I can see why the dad left. This bitch is a psycho. 
She belongs in a fucking mental ward. This is far from normal. We should assassinate her. Don't bother talking to her, bro. Do this. Dude, she sucks. This is so abusive. I honestly don't blame that. I would have fucking walked out so long ago. It's... <laughs> Well, the one good thing from Mom's outburst is that we get to see Nagisa with long hair, I guess. But this bitch is still crazy. I'm like, why don't you choose Tokyo University? Why isn't this random L school? Because she couldn't fucking do it. So it's a parent projecting their failures and dreams onto their kid and trying to live vicariously through their kids. This happens so fucking often, right? Like, this is all her fucking plan. Like, she's got the track record. You're gonna go to this college. You're gonna go to this company. Like, you're gonna go to this school that I couldn't get, couldn't get into. You're gonna go into the company that I couldn't get into. Then you're gonna do all these things that I couldn't do because I'm living through you. Just call the mom out on her fucking failures. But she can't. I think that Nagisa probably like pities mom maybe. The fact that she, he like stayed with mom. Unless it's like such an abusive toxic relationship with like, you know, Stockholm Syndrome. Like why, she, why did he not leave with dad, right? This bitch is fucking crazy. the entire time we were joking about the fanboy shit. Like, this is not because Nagisa may really want, but because mom also wanted a girl. So like, she's like, you're gonna, you're my son, but you're gonna be my daughter. Like, what the fuck? This is just like Chunibyo recently. And like, cautious hero. Where we're laughing, Having fun, haha, ha, funny, funny, cringe, haha. Ha. And then, backstory. Oh, their coping mechanisms. Oh. <laughs> Still would. This is actually so twisted. So like even if we go back to that episode where Nagisa cross-dressed to kind of like get the girl through the club, he was pretty against it, right? Did he enjoy it near the end? Because like I'm now I'm realizing like bro, like we forced something that we should have never done to him there, right? Maybe I I I forget exactly. He was definitely like very shy and nervous about it. He didn't outwardly reject it, but like. Probably didn't feel good, yeah. He, he, it's, ugh. Oh, it's getting even more mess. We should assassinate her. The mom controls everything. Wait. Are you telling me that the reason that we saw those two kids playing the fucking video game before we went to mom is not to show that Nagisa missed out on childhood by playing video games with friends, but just showing the fucking console? <laughs> the console UI beach quest? That's so stupid. <laughs> that is so fucking pointless. <laughs> okay. That's right, mom RPG. <laughs> I hope Korosan say destroys her, bro. <laughs> Maybe you should also go dark. I don't know. This, this, this bitch deserves everything she's got coming. Maybe Koro Sensei will like correct her or something, but I don't think it's very good if a teacher, like, you know, <laughs> threatens like a parent of a child. They probably get fired. I don't know. The, who's gonna correct her? Who's gonna show her her fucking place? 
Wonder what kind of disguise Koro Sensei will have. What about Bitsensei? Koro Sensei save us. Okay. <laughs> Surely he's not flagging. I don't know. That was some aura though. I don't know where the fuck he's at right now, but he's enjoying a cup of tea, I think. This is the Kremlin? Are we in Russia? He's enjoying Russian tea with jam? Shiota Nagisa. See guys? What do I say? The chalkboard's important. The chalkboard? The name by? That's, that's the focus of the episode. I did I did get just... It, it, it made no sense last episode because Tadasaka and Karma really didn't do shit. But hey, it, it matters now. Did that work? Okay. Is Koro Sensei gonna roleplay as Karasuma? I think so. <laughs> Here we go. Karasuma does not talk like that. The hairstyle is kind of correct, but like this outfit, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're bulging muscles. Will mom fall for this? Oh shit, the mom is showing up. Yeah. She is, for sure. <laughs> Got a bunch of macaroon looking things that has Kodosensu's face on it. Yo. Suspicious at all. Very suspicious. Oh, glazing the mom. The daughter thing. Ah, even more about the whole thing. Like, sh so, <sighs> so what? Is she gonna have a fucking flashback? And her own parents are also disabusive and they never allowed her to do anything. And she, she was, he had to live up to expectation. Ugh, it's just this never-ending chain of fucking shitty parents, man. <laughs> she actually looks so creepy right now, bro. <laughs> this is actually looking so creepy. I, I know it's mom and son right now, but this looks like a, like an isekai show where like some creepy ass royalty dude is like sniffing the hair of like a, a vulnerable girl. It's straight up as Regulus and Amelia, just Regulus holding Amelia's hair. Or like fucking Ryuan, you know, fucking taking Susan's hair, bro. No, when Ryuan did that, that was Aura. That was Riz, okay? This, sexual harassment. That's right, that university again. Yo, Karasuma sensei, what you thinking? The blank face you're making. <laughs> I love how she's so proud of it. It's only natural that I, who have failed at everything, knows exactly what's good for my kid. Oh my god. Nagisa, I wish you would stand up against the mom, but it's hard to. Oh. Oh. I'm bald. <laughs> I'm bald. What are we doing right now? Kaioken. Sorry, this is a uh, solar flare. Karasuma's ball. Okay, what are we doing? Okay. That's a, that's a great example to make out of the wig. Yeah, it kind of like breaks the ice, right? That's all serious move with the wig joke, but then it also relates to, you know, how you shouldn't control the kid. Alright. True. What you gonna say back? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? This <laughs> is getting so spicy, bro. Oh my god, I'd be recording this shit on fucking Snapchat right now. Oh, this is some peak drama. Oh. I mean, do you think you're so great? Your plan? Bro, bitch, you failed at everything. Why would we listen to a girl that just failed at everything? She called us a moron. Ball the bugger. I don't know. She fucking left. Uh, uh, um... 
Is she gonna go to the principal now and try to bribe him? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that was great. I'm so glad you called her out. You're not by yourself, though. Oh. Mm. Not mom round, you. Your first round. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so awkward. The mom is... The, the thing with the mom is weird. I thought that she'd still be in like a shitty mood, but like... She's all chilled out and mellow now. We're just eating dinner. It's like, I'm so sorry for blowing up in front of your teacher, Nagisa. It, oh, this is just so, this is so bipolar. Oh, that was crazy, huh? Yeah, I know, mom. You crazy motherfucker. Mm. Did she drug us? Did she fucking drug us? Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna lock us in a basement cellar? What's the obstacles? Where do we go? Oh, you're gonna burn the school down? <laughs> she, 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 she said, yeah, the obstacle right now is the E-Clive. I'm gonna burn this fucking school down. <laughs> and then you're gonna make it back into the main school after I burn the e <laughs> This bitch is insane! She's fucking crazy! This is arson though. This 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 just this, you can go to jail for this shit. I went crazy? You, you, I I went crazy I feel like I'm taking crazy pills right now. <laughs> the crazy person's telling me I'm crazy. I don't have, no, you do it, pussy. Fuck you. Here, kid, you're gonna burn the school down, and then you're gonna go to the main campus. What a brilliant fucking plan. What if they find out that Nagisa did it? What if, what, what have you ever thought about that? You really think that burning down the school is the best way to get into good graces of the school? Did I ask for that, though? Who fucking asked? You burned all that money and time. For yourself, not for me. Don't you fucking dare project that shit onto me. Baby. <laughs> this imagery is great, bro. She truly is the embodiment of just hell hath no fury. Like, uh, what's the word? There's some Shakespearean line of like, hell... Hath no fury like a woman scorched or something. Basically, you don't know true wrath until you meet a fucking girl that's mad. Oh. Yo, where's dad at? Dad should show up right now and save us. You'll confront mom? Oh. Mach 20, Mach 20. No, no, no. Who the fuck are you? A new assassin showing up out of nowhere? I thought it was Mach 20. The show. That's why this Ritsu allowed that. Yeah, I guess Ritsu does. Kono says, like, please, Ritsu, can we watch that drama today? So he's here to take care of that. Okay, this is pretty fucking funny. At 10, every Wednesday. It's like it's ReZero Wednesdays. Oh, this is great. Yo, these assassins are great because now it's just like, you thought you were so fucking serious and evil and mean. Like, you got no clue what you're fucking dealing with, lady. Let's go, assassin. Yo, Indiana Jones popping off. Please do it. Please do it. Kill her. Hmm. <laughs> and there's constantly been this, like, imagery of, like, uh, what's it called? Like, the waves, signals, vibrations, frequencies. I think Nagisa is, this is kind of a way to show, like, Nagisa's innate talent for, like, understanding, like, the mood, the atmosphere. And, like, he'll probably, like... Save his mom against this assassin, then mom will recognize Nagisa's skills. 
because of E class, and that's how everything will be resolved, maybe? Yeah, they show that during the Reaper stuff with the clap. New skill, baby. I still wanted the assassin to kill mom, though. Watch me, mom. Look what I've learned. I'm an assassin. Okay. He's underestimating. Here we go. We did it! We did it, the thing! The Uno reverse reverse card! More than fairly okay. Nagisa's great. The mom sucks. Now, this is the real Nagisa. Karasuma! Karasuma sensei. Okay. Will she turn a new leaf? Should've clapped that bitch too. Maybe good for something else too. Uh, instead of an assassin, a bodyguard? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, this is also very rare that Koto Sensei is actually driving a vehicle because usually we'd be fucking flying, but you know, we got mom with us. <laughs> True. Not Mach 20. Oh, mama is breakfast. Oh, we made her breakfast. Aww. Mm. Well, I'm the type of guy that said Nagisa's mom should just fucking die. So obviously I'm not gonna accept this. But hey, if we're gonna be good to her, maybe she's turned over a new leaf that we can have an amicable relationship. Alright. Oh, good. Nice. Never seen a kid smile so much after her mom said, I don't care, do whatever the fuck you want. The shackles are released. Here we go. That's another episode of Assassination Classroom. And oh man, we finally got a little bit of backstory for Nagisa, and it's pretty dark. The whole femboy shit. Mom is pretty much as like imposing onto Nagisa because she always wanted like a, a daughter. And like the hair length too, everything that she couldn't do. Basically, all of the failures and the shortcomings from mom was projected onto Nagisa, and it's just like this vile, vile clutch on him. She is fucking batshit crazy. I got no clue why dad even stuck his dick inside her. Maybe she was, you know, relatively normal before, or maybe, you know what they say, crazy bitches, they actually crazy in bed too. Maybe mom's a freaky freak, who knows, but dad's just basically bailed because of that, and maybe Nagisa stick around because, you know, he felt bad about mom, but mom was still being so abusive. It's sad all along, but hey, thanks to this Indiana Jones, you know, Jones assassin guy, everything worked out. We showed mom that, you know, we got some skills and Koro-sensei also made her realize that, hey, you should like let him do his own thing. Stop trying to like over control his life and I think everything is going to be good. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time, take care.